it was after I had that, you know, seizure. So yeah. it was after that, the past couple of weeks, I've been, my legs from the knee below, mostly the left, but the right one too. Yeah. They're tingling and they're like, it feels like my skin's being pulled apart and it's really painful and it's swelling so badly. And like it, it's behind the knee and along the calf and even my ankle will be like swollen. Yeah. And, um, you know, I've had some problems with, like, you know, some of the electrolytes. And I didn't know, like, due to dehydration, would that cause a swelling? I've also had a DVT in both legs, but that was, like, over 10 years ago. And they put an IVC filter, mm -hmm. but they never removed it. That's okay. Okay, because um, they were saying, like, sometimes if you leave them too long, it could cause problems. Yep. So we don't know why my legs are swelling right now. By the end of the day, they're really swollen and my foot, I, I took a video to show you what, cause you know, we were here uh -huh. earlier. I wanted you to see what it looks like later. And the bottom of my foot looks like purple and black on the heel. And then, it, but it's only from the knee down. Yeah. Really now that I know, like I need to take care of this body better. This is like my priority. I yeah. used to put everything in front of my my self care and just like attending to health because I'm really bad at it. But I'm like no more, no more, yeah. no more. I've only been given one body and I'm living it the rest of my life, so mm -hmm. I need to take better care of it. So I really want to find out because yeah. this has been getting scary, swollen. What had caused the DVTs before? Because I went to the best hematologist and. He said, well, you're not overweight, you're not, you didn't fall, and you, have you been still for a long time? And I'm like, no, he's old and it must be genetic. Yeah. But I found out when I went to my pain management doctor, because I told him I was over-exercising at the time. Uh-huh. He goes, that's rhabdo. That's uh, rhabdo. Yeah, it was rhabdo. Yeah. The, the best OC hematologist in Southern California, he's telling me it was genetic. I go to my uh, regular, my, my... It depends on the labs to call it rhabdo, though. Yeah, right, right, right. You have to have that protein in the system. Creatinine, yeah. Yes, correct. But they figured out it was rhabdo. It wasn't a... Yeah, it's, if you're over-exercising, it's more likely than anything to yeah. be rhabdo. Which is not a good thing. No, Because no. that wrecks your kidneys. Yeah. See, you know, you know. Well, I made it to my appointment. What I'm doing is I'm getting a CAT scan today because I have an IVC filter in my body and they need to see if it's clogged because I've had it for over 10 years and it's not supposed to be in that long. So I'm getting a CAT scan done right now with contrast because all of these issues I've been having could be completely related to a clogged IVC filter. I had blood clots in both legs over like 10, 11 years ago. But the problem is, is they're not supposed to keep the filter that long. And if for any reason it breaks off, like think of it like a blood clot. If it breaks off and goes to the heart, I'm done. And the filter itself, it's been in so long, if anything, if that breaks off and goes to my heart, I'm done too. So I might need surgery and you know, it's gonna be a challenge. You know, I've been going through a lot of challenges lately, but we're getting to the bottom of it. Kylie, let me call Zamani, okay? So I'm hoping to get some answers because I feel like I have a ticking time bomb in, inside me because it needs to be removed. So all this swelling and everything that's been happening and all the electrolytes and having a seizure and all these things that have happened could be completely related and the dehydration to a clogged filter and the heart pounding and things like that. And it's not that I'm going not going to seek medical, medical attention. I absolutely am seeking medical attention. But I will tell you this year, has been weird. My blood work will come out 
low, even critically low. No call from the labs or anything. They're not reporting them to the doctor even on a stat order. So lately the medical profession has been really challenging lately and getting me some results. But at least we're gonna get something done and move forward and make it, you know, so. That's pretty much what's been going on. What's it like coming back to the hospital? I'm at the hospital right now. And I'm not over all the trauma from it. The abuse in my past, I have moved through. But all the things that were done at the hospital, it's flashing back. But I'm, I'm staying strong. I'm staying strong. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And thank you. Sorry about that. I was in the way of the door. <laughs> but I'm getting through it and I'm going to attend to my medical needs and advocate for myself. I'm going to push through it to get the results so I can get better. Because I need to put the weight on and this could be, in, this filter could be inhibiting quite a bit. So. I love you guys so much. I will be connecting a lot more. I love you, but this is why I haven't been around as much. I'm trying to put my health first for a change. And I have some other, some amazing updates I'd love to share with you in just a bit too. Some really cool things have happened. So there's, a, you know, with downsides, there are positives. I love you all and flip it.